Hello, welcome to the eBusiness Guru behind the scenes video series. My name is Adrian and I'm a digital product manager here at eBusiness Guru. Today I'm joined here with Mark Canty, who's an e-commerce multi-channel specialist at eBusiness Guru. How are you doing, Mark? You right? I'm okay, Adrian. Thanks for asking me in. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Today we're going to look at the AMC Peak application and we're going to get straight into it. So tell me, Mark. What is the AMCP app for? AMCP app is for online sellers that are selling on Amazon, hence AMZ. <laughs> uh, effectively, it's giving you access to a wealth of data that's normally hidden away behind various reports and exports. Yeah. A little bit of special source from our end as well. Yeah. It's there to try and help you make the best of what you're selling mm -hmm. and to find new products that will do just as well for you. Okay, great. I see. Customer behavior now is changing. Gone are the days when it's predictable and different people want different things at a very, you know, quick quick change. So we're all working in our own best interest nowadays. Yeah. And the customers have access to very similar tools. Yeah. So the customers have to be smart with the money they're spending, who they're spending with. It's not people that you know it's not like a, a loyalty to a person anymore you don't yeah. buy it from the same shop absolutely you drift from seller to seller from store to store you find the best deals yeah because you know prices go up yeah. prices go up slower yeah. yeah online selling from your side of things is you're trying to convince people to buy from you that means you have to put yourself in front of them not just with the best price yeah if they never find your product because they've already they've already filtered you out somehow, you're never going to sell to them. Absolutely. Learning the best ways to get in front of the customer is half the journey. Yeah. After that, even if you're only getting a sell through rate of, you know, say only twelve percent. <laughs> yeah. But if you have thirty percent more customers coming in, uh -huh. then twelve percent of that thirty percent are buying from you. That's more money. Absolutely. And for the cost that you pay for an MG peak, yeah. and the fact that you can continually keep going back with that feedback loop, yeah. periodically going back to your listings, seeing how to tweak them based on what currently is working, yeah. you can just try and stay ahead of the game. You can, you can. It's absolutely gold having your hands on this kind of data. Absolutely gold. And, and it's there when you want it. <laughs> it is. You don't have to make an appointment. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to pay an hourly rate. No. You can just open the app. That simple. It's really that simple, isn't it? <laughs> and we're going to move on to the next question. Take us through some of the key features of the AMCP app. Okay, so the first one that's obviously a key thing is it allows you to look at your existing applications yeah. and make recommendations about what you can do to make them even better. Yeah. Now, that can be something simple from You've only used two bullet points. You yeah. should be using four because there's a very big uptick in people sticking around and buying from the um, listings that have four bullet points. Mm -hmm. It could come down to, in this category, people are tending to look for certain specifics that you haven't used. Yeah. Maybe the number of batteries that something takes and the type. Yeah. Maybe the materials it's made of. Um, things like that. Is it recyclable? All, you know, all these little details that maybe you've missed when you're specking it out. Yeah. The manufacturer's part number. A lot of people will search <laughs> on that these days because it's all up and on the web so they can go looking for it rather than just looking for, I don't know, a blue electric shaver. People are looking for Braun BPL513B because they've seen a part of review on witch.com or whatever. Yeah. So if you have the NPN in there, people can look for that and they'll find your listing. Awesome. Um, on top of that, it has some other nice features. You can look at specific categories and see what the top sellers are. So if you're looking at breaking new ground, you can look at what potentially you want to be buying in and selling. Yeah. You can have a look at um, listings that aren't awful, you know, but you can make recommendations of areas that could be improved. So rather than saying that you need to be putting in more bullet points, you need these specifics, it can simply say that there are areas which you should look at revisiting and refreshing. Maybe they've been left a bit too long since you last updated them. Lastly, there's the ability to do, I suppose you would call it soft searches. Uh -huh. You can give it a term or a product name, 
at a specific sort of category or subcategory you're looking at, yeah. it will come back with items that associate back to it. So you can look at, for example, alternative products that you want to be selling, yeah. because your one of your products that you would normally sell lots of is out of stock at the supplier. You might even find an alternative product that's a different brand but sells better. Oh, yeah. It has better price margins when you talk to your supplier about it. So it's not just about improving what you've already got, yeah. it's about looking at how you're going to grow your presence on Amazon, oh, yeah. find good products that are going to make you money, remove some of the trial and error oh, yeah. by using all the work that other people have already done. <laughs> Let's be honest, all this number crunching, all these figures, that's what Amazon is using in the background when they decide what they're going to sell and yeah. what they're not going to sell. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's great stuff, Mark. And where can you, where can people find this great application we've just been discussing? It's a Linux add-on, so obviously you're going to go straight to the Linux.net application store. Uh -huh. Add it in. It comes with a seven-day free trial, so you can give it a go. Yeah. And if you want to pick it up, then you can subscribe. Awesome. Awesome. So you've just heard where you can get the application from. So you can pick this up at a reasonable price of fourteen ninety nine plus VAT per month, and you can get access to the application at any time of the day or any time of the night. We are also constantly improving our applications. What we've recently added to the AMC Peak app are many new features. We have low stock report which helps you to keep track of your Amazon stock levels so that you always are in stock. And we also have the negative review report tool, which helps you to keep track of any negative feedback from your customers so that you can keep on top of your reputation. And that's it. Um, thank you for watching the AMC Peak Behind the Scenes video series. Um, I hope you found this insightful and very useful. Um, Mark, I just want to thank you again for joining us. Always to, a pleasure. Um, tell us your views on the AMC Peak app. I'm sure that was very useful for the audience to hear. And yes, if you would like to know more, um, please contact us. Um, you'll see links in the video above. And you can see also see links in the description below in the video. And yeah, you can visit www.ebusinessguru.com the code UK and you can always drop me an email adrian at ebusinessguru.co.uk thank you